Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Rice and we're back today with another COVID-19 video. Today is a highly requested video talking about the Cinefarm vaccine. This vaccine is also known as the BBIBPCORV vaccine. Every time I look at this vaccine, I just think to myself, I'd love some BB Bop right now for all my BB Bop fans out there. It's so, so good, but that's not that's not the point of this video. The Cinefarm vaccine is one of two vaccines developed by China, the other one being the Cinevac vaccine. If you want to know more information about the Cinevac or the Coronavac vaccine, I'll put a link to that video at the end of this video, as well as in the description below. What makes the Cinefarm vaccine unique compared to most other coronavirus vaccines on the market today is the mechanism by which it provides immunity. The Cinefarm vaccine is in a class of vaccines known as inactivated vaccines. It's called this because it uses a method involving an inactivated virus. This is a traditional way of making a lot of vaccines that we have today. And in fact, this is the same mechanism of immunity used by the polio vaccine made back in the 1950s, which is actually one of the first vaccines ever created. This vaccine is colloquially referred to as the Salk vaccine. For those of you who may or may not have been around, to first see it developed. Basically, this technology has been around for quite some time and has been extensively studied, unlike the mRNA vaccines of Pfizer and Moderna, as well as the recombinant vector vaccines of Johnson & Johnson and AstraZeneca. So how exactly does this mechanism of inactivated virus or inactivated vaccine really work? Essentially, an inactivated virus is a virus that can't replicate or cause infection once introduced into your body. In the context of the Cinefarm vaccine, COVID-19 is given an agent that doesn't allow it to replicate, effectively killing the virus. A bunch of the inactivated COVID-19 is placed into the Cinefarm vaccine, which then gets introduced into your body and ultimately allows your body to create antibodies against that inactivated COVID-19. This way, when the real coronavirus is introduced into your body, you'll already have enough antibodies created to wipe out COVID-19 before it can cause any serious harm. So now let's talk about some of the Cinefarm vaccine facts, including its overall efficacy, usage, and administration. The Cinefarm vaccine requires two separate doses separated by about three to four weeks. This is similar to the two-shot process of Pfizer and Moderna. The Cinefarm vaccine completed its phase three clinical trials with over 60,000 participants. This makes this phase three clinical trial one of the largest in history ever done for a vaccine. At the end of the phase three clinical trial, after all the data was summarized and computed, it was found to have an overall efficacy rate of about 78.1%. However, there were a few alarming features about this phase three clinical trial that I think is worth mentioning. First, 84.4% of all the individuals in the trial were male. Second, 98.4% of all the individuals in the trial were under the age of 60. And lastly, not a single person of the over 60,000 participants in the trial had any significant underlying health conditions. Recently, there was a study published from the country of Peru that demonstrated the overall efficacy rate of the Cinefarm vaccines for frontline healthcare workers between the months of February to August of this year. This is when Peru was battling the second wave of COVID-19 infections, primarily with the Gamma and the Lambda variants. This study was performed on nearly 400,000 frontline healthcare workers and was found to have an overall effectiveness of about 54% and about a 95% overall effectiveness in preventing COVID-19 deaths. While the overall efficacy and effectiveness appears to be somewhat competent, the World Health Organization has consistently expressed low confidence in the overall safety of the Cinefarm vaccine, particularly for people with multiple medical comorbidities, pregnant women, and the elderly, as they were all underrepresented in the phase three clinical trial. The Cinefarm vaccine can can be stored at regular refrigerator temperatures. This vaccine has also had full approval in China and
and the UAE and has emergency use authorization in over 30 different countries. It is currently not approved in the United States for any type of use, including FDA approval as well as emergency use authorization. So now let's talk a little bit about the overall effectiveness of the Sinopharm vaccine. Here, I'm going to provide two different studies that give a pretty decent overview of the overall effectiveness of the Sinopharm vaccine. First, there was a study performed in Hungary that looked at how much neutralizing antibodies were produced after the second dose of the Sinopharm vaccine. Neutralizing antibodies are antibodies that stop COVID-19 from entering our cells. So the higher the number, the less likely it is that any single virus particle can enter our cells reducing the chance of infection, as well as keeping us out of the hospital. In this study, it was found that 25% of all participants over the age of 60 had zero neutralizing antibodies. It was also found that 50% of all the individuals in this study over the age of 80 also had zero neutralizing antibodies. Putting this in perspective, comparing it to one of the studies done with the Pfizer vaccine, it was found that only 10% of the oldest population group did not have any neutralizing antibodies. This is a big difference again when you're looking at the study done from Hungary that nearly 50% of all individuals in that same population group also didn't have any neutralizing antibodies. Doing some quick math, that's a 40% difference between the Sinopharm versus the Pfizer vaccine in terms of production of neutralizing antibodies, which can be correlated to how effective the vaccines are. The second study that I'm going to mention is a study performed in Sri Lanka. In this study, the researchers were taking a look at how many of the neutralizing antibodies would be produced after the second dose of the Sinopharm vaccine against both the Delta and the Beta variants compared to the original strain. In this study, it was found that 95% of all individuals tested had some detectable levels of neutralizing antibodies. For the Delta variant specifically, it was found that those individuals who had natural immunity or the people that previously had COVID-19 and had antibodies that way, had similar levels of neutralizing antibodies compared to those who had received both doses of the Sinopharm vaccine. If you'd like to know even more information about COVID-19 vaccines in general, I'll put a link to those videos here in the top corner, as well as in the description below. Thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video, and I will see you all on the next one.